Hafsa Ali Osman was just 13 when she was married off by her father to a man who paid $100. She and her mother say she was beaten and raped for two years before they convinced him to divorce her. My husband would go out to search for some food, then he would return home empty-handed and beat me, demanding why I hadn't prepared lunch for him. But I had nothing to cook. There is no law mandating a minimum age for marriage in Somalia. A bill introduced in Parliament this month by a presidential ally caused a wave of criticism from lawmakers when they realised it would legalise marriage at puberty, which could be as early as 10 for some girls. Data from a government survey this year shows that nearly a third of girls are married before their 18th birthday, just under half of those before the age of 15. Many activists like Hodan Ali reject the bill. This bill, which will be applied in this country, which will affect the most vulnerable and the most poor, right? And the men and women who are passing this bill, rest assured, if anything happens, uh, uh, they will not be subjected to, to, to this bill, right? Some of the people who are working on this, their children live in a safe country where the, the rights of their children are protected. Nadifa Hussein runs three camps in Mogadishu for families fleeing violence and abandoned child brides. Most of the women and girls here were married at 13, and perhaps by 20 they are divorced with four or five children. The man divorces her or beats her. He eats lunch in town and comes back with a full stomach. He wants supper, but the mother and kids are crying, hungry. They have no one to feed them. That's how the violence and beating begins. Political turmoil in Somalia means it's unclear when Parliament might vote on the bill. Deputy Speaker Abdi Weli Mudi, who presented the bill, did not return calls seeking comment, but told lawmakers it had been reviewed by clerics and, quote, this bill is the correct one based on Islam.